Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be reviewing these LED floodlights made by Odro. As always, if you're not a subscriber, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you remember, these lights were featured on a tutorial video on how to make portable work or auxiliary lights for your vehicle. If you want to check that out, I'll include a link to that video in the description below along with a product link to these particular lights. I managed to pick up a little container so everything is neatly packed and this can be ran off a cigarette lighter socket. These lights are part of Odro's Brave Man T1 series. They are just under 4 inches or 10 centimeters in width, about 2.5 inches or 6 centimeters deep, and about 3.5 inches or 9 centimeters in height. These are rated at 27 watts up to 1600 lumens each, operate on 9 to 32 volts, lifespan of 50,000 hours, and working temperature of negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 185 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 40 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius. This is a floodlight which has a 60 degree beam and a 6000 Kelvin color temperature which is almost a pure white with a light hint of blue. The lights have an IP67 rating which means they are protected against dust ingress as well as low pressure water jets from any direction. This is the same rating which can be found on the iPhone 7. The housing uses waterproof silica gel strips to ensure the light is sealed from the elements. It's waterproof, up to 3.3 feet of water for 30 minutes. The exterior finish features a black painted 6063 aluminum casting with cooling fins on the rear to help dissipate the heat. The case is held together with allen head fasteners, can be rotated on the base for horizontal movements, and has a 45 degree vertical movement. The bracket is locked into place on the rear using an allen head fastener as a jam bolt. Behind the lens, we can see the light is equipped with 9 LEDs. Each LED is rated at 3 watts, giving us a total of 27 watts per light. Now for the testing, I won't be using my traditional testing method with a quick drive up the road as the Ranger now has LED headlights and I want to give a common comparison with halogen bulbs. The lights will be compared to my 1997 BMW E39 headlights which use halogen bulbs in a basic reflector housing so no projectors. Naturally the halogen bulbs will have a slightly yellowish tint so you can see almost pure white on the LED flood lights. With these being a flood light, they have a wide beam as opposed to a spotlight where you would have a narrow beam made for distance. Due to the rounded shape of my hood, I did have to prop up the LED lights slightly to provide a more accurate comparison against the vehicle's headlights. The photos that were taken on the road, the street sign is about 100 feet away. The large tree on the right is about 40 feet away. I do have a mild zoom on my camera due to the body and lens setup. In all photos, my fog lights are running on low beam, which tends to provide a wider close-up beam on the road directly in front of the vehicle. While the floodlights do not have the distance as compared to the headlights, they are still able to provide a large illuminated area. This can be seen on the trunk of the tree to the right as the beam goes higher up the trunk than compared to the vehicle's headlights. This is a very compact light with low power consumption, so they can be installed anywhere. For my purpose, I used them as a work light, auxiliary light to provide additional illumination when driving through the bush or trails, or for camping. But they're not limited to these applications only. They can also be installed on a boat, ATV, motorcycle, dirt bike, other recreational vehicles, trailer, tractor, lawnmower, snowblower, even a low voltage work light connected to a transformer at home. On a vehicle application, these would be great for reverse lights, fog lights, bush bar lights, and truck box illumination. Overall, the performance is excellent for the size and they're very affordable compared to other lights available on the market. They'll withstand the outdoor elements, low power draw compared to other types of lights, so you don't have to worry about an excessive load on your alternator, compact, rugged design, clean workmanship, and very well built. This concludes the rest of my review video. Have you purchased this product in the past? Leave a comment below sharing your experience. Also subscribe to my channel and give my video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.